What brings you here? <laughs> Start off with it. <laughs> hey everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you the basics of scripting with custom NPCs. Just a quick disclaimer, this is not a programming tutorial. This is a guide on how to script for custom NPCs. While in this first tutorial I will explain some of the programming methods, I will not be expanding on them to great detail for now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to get yourself an NPC wand. Without this you can't use the mod at all. The recipe is simply two bread on top of two sticks. Man, my inventory is messy, I should empty it. The next thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a scripter. Although there is no basic recipe for it, you can add one to the game. To add one to the game, you have to use your NPC wand and go to Global, and under Recipes, you can select Global and then Add Scripter. I chose the recipe with two sticks and a piece of bread. It seemed to make sense. So now that it's added in globals, I can go to the crafting station, place my two sticks and my bread, and get the scripter. Now you should be able to <laughs> <laughs> Now you should be able to right click on your NPC and it should say ECMA script under language. If this isn't here it means that you haven't got your JavaScript client set up properly. I will provide information in the description on how to do that. <laughs> Under the scripts tab, you'll see several hooks. These simply are just functions that are called every time a certain event happens. For example, init. Every time your NPC is loaded, it will call the function under init. Update is called every time the game updates. Interact is called every time someone right clicks on the NPC. The others are self-explanatory. Before any of your scripts are going to run, you're going to need to enable them. So to do that, use the settings tab and you click enabled. For our first script, we're going to simply make a tag array, a tag array, a tag array. How do you pronounce this guy's name? A tag. A... Uh. So the first script we're going to make this guy do is every time we right click Frank, he's going to tell us what the time is. To do this, we right click on him with your scripter, go to scripts, and then select interact. In here, we're going to want to write var time equals world dot get time, then the percent sign, and 24,000. Then we're going to want to write mpc dot say quotation marks. Don't forget those; they're important. The time is end the quotation mark plus and then time. Now let's try it out. You can see down in the bottom left-hand corner that he says the time is nineteen. 1384. The problem is though, he doesn't say that in the speech bubble because he says the default hello Simon B. To cancel this, you go back into the scripts and under interact, you add an extra line. You're kidding me, the baby just started his lawnmower. <laughs> to disable the default message from being shown, you need to add the line event.set cancelled. True. Don't worry if you don't understand what we've written here so far. I will explain it all in a bit, but for now let's test this out. There you go. The time is 22,970. So let's go over what we've written. In the first line, we wrote var time equals world dot get time percent 24,000. Now this probably makes a little bit of sense. But for the most part, most people wouldn't understand what it means. At the start, var, this declares that time is a variable. And then the equals after time means that we're going to give it a starting value. The starting value we're going to get is from the world.getTime. This is a function that returns the current time in-game. But the problem is, it doesn't just return what time of day it is, it returns the total time of the world. So what we want 
is the time of day. And so by using this percent sign, this percent sign stands for modular division. And so by using percent 24,000, which I will refer to as mod 24,000 from now on, means that it will just return the remainder of when you divide world.getTime by 24,000. This seems a little crazy, but another example for this is if you just wanted to get the last digit of any number, you could use mod 10. For example, 49 mod 10 would return 9, because you can divide 49 by 10 and you will get 4 and the remainder of 9. So therefore it returns 9. The next line is npc.say the time is plus time. This is self-explanatory. The npc will say the time is and then using the plus and the variable time it appends that to the string. Therefore it will tell us what the time is. The final line says event.set cancelled true. This just tells the event that we're going to cancel it after the script is run, thereby disabling the default message from being shown. Another note to add is that time in Minecraft isn't exactly like time in the real world. It does have 24 hours, but each hour contains a thousand minutes. This is why we are using world.getTime mod 24,000, because we have 24 hours which is 24,000. Now we're going to change it a little bit so that Frank is a little bit more polite and he says our name. To do this, we go back into scripts and under interact. What we want him to do is to say, hello, whatever the player's name is, then tell the player what the time is. Now if we run this, we should see that Frank will be a lot more polite and he'll say my name. Damn it. To change this, we're going to right click with Frank, go into scripts, and under interact, we're going to change the line that says npc.say the time is plus time. We're going to change it so that instead of saying the time is plus time, we're going to have him say hello, and then we're going to want the player name. So to get the player name, we use the plus, and then we type player.getName. This will get the name of the current player that's interacting with him. Then we add another plus so that we can append an extra string onto the end. And we put a comma and change the uppercase T to a lowercase T just so it looks nicer. Now we can run the script and we can see that Frank is a lot more polite. Thanks Frank. That's all I'm going to show you today. But I'll leave you a challenge. Because out of personal experience I know that the best way to learn is to try. And so the challenge I'm going to set you is make Frank give you a different greeting according to the time of day. I will give you a clue however. The way you're going to want to do this is by using if statements. The way an if statement works is if condition then you have an open curly bracket and then a closing curly bracket and then in here will be what runs. So how this if statement works is if this condition is true then it runs what's ever between the curly brackets. <coughs> That's going to be it for today but if you want to see some more tutorials come back next time where they'll be more advanced and we get to do really cool stuff. See you then.